Okay, this is key 21, and it is, the ceiling has been removed. The ceiling has been removed. There's a barrier above you that ha that was there, and it's no longer there. And th I don't know why it is so important for me to record this right now, but I was just trying to take a nap because I am very tired. <laughs> um, and they just kept saying, like, the showing me, the ceiling has been removed, the ceiling has been removed, um, like, get up and make this video right now. So I don't know why there's this, like, urgency behind this, especially because I don't feel like the ceiling has been removed, like, right now i think we could actually look back and see different types of like astrological moments where the energy shifted on the planet like a like a massive amount all at once um we could talk about different moments where this has kind of happened on different levels um but those moments aren't really relevant for this reading the message is just that the ceiling has been removed like somebody needs to hear that um and they keep showing me like this this big dome that this dome used to be there and it's not there anymore you might still hold it in your vibration you might feel like there's this ceiling above your head you might feel like you know something is restraining you or holding you back but it's it's not there it's it, it's just like a residue an imprint left in your vibration if you feel like this is there it's not there i could i could repeat that a thousand times the ceiling is not there <laughs> okay um and it comes with this is uh like ascension pathways i have seen a lot lately like different kinds of you know headlines and stuff online talking about the one true ascension pathway and so i was kind of asking see even when i when i when i say even just saying one true ascension pathway i get this like anxiety in my chest and it's like my whole being resonates like no 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 it's not just one ascension pathway there might be one true ascension pathway for you you might have one one ascension pathway but in terms of all people on earth, they're infinite pathways. You know, all paths lead home. All paths lead home. The, the, the many, many paths, you know, um, that's what that Buddhist symbol is about, right? All the paths lead back to one source. And so uh, there's different types of ascension pathways. Some of them are these long loop Bing, spirals, super long, super slow, going up, up through the dimensions and then up, right? If you could even think each one of these loops being a dimension. Um, some, many, many people on Earth are currently on track to take this long, looping ascension journey that will take eons, and that is perfect, and that is beautiful. Some people, some of you might be on this, like, express train you know going straight up perfect and beautiful other people you know it might be like this other people might be looping around going all over the place you know perfect and beautiful other people um are concerned or worried or keep having an experience where they think they're on the wrong path it's like you're going up, you're, you're, you're going up on your journey you're, and then, and then it's like you fall, you feel like you fall off the journey and you go, oh, that was, that was the wrong way. And you go over here and then you try going up again over here, but then it's like it falls off and you go, and then it's like nothing, everything, no matter what you do, everything you try, everything you try, it like only gets you so far and then you fall back down. Um, so part of this message is what is going on with that? What, what happens when we feel like we're, we're going up and then we fall off? the ascension pathway, it feels like, right? It feels like, first of all, to remember that even if you go down a rabbit hole or you go up a staircase or you go up a ladder and then you fall off the ladder and then you go up a different ladder, nothing was ever wasted. That wasn't a mistake. Nothing was wrong. You, you learned things on that journey and your higher self wouldn't have allowed you to go up that ladder if there wasn't something for you to gain by doing so. So it, it's not wrong to go up a ladder and then come back down the ladder and then start up a new ladder. That's perfect and beautiful. Just like all of these other ways of ascending, right? Um, but moving forward, if you would like to stop falling off the ladder, if you if you want to find a path, an ascension pathway that will get you through this imaginary ceiling, like past, past the ceiling, maybe before you always got to this ceiling and that's when you fell back down, right? Maybe you always got to the ceiling and then you fell back down. The ceiling is no longer there, right? The ceiling is no longer there. So you can keep going up, 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 beyond this ceiling that you might imagine is still there but is definitely not there the trick is to 
You can't find your ascension pathway with your mind. You cannot find it by Googling what is the a true ascension pathway, right? You cannot, you cannot think about it. You cannot find it with your mind. You can only find it with your vibration. And so it's like, ask your soul, ask your higher self, you know, ask yourself, ask you, ask your authenticity. How, how do I vibrate with my ascension pathway? How do I vibrate with my ascension pathway? Nobody else's ascension pathway matters to you whatsoever in terms of your own, own ascension. The only thing that matters is your ascension pathway and you you find it literally vib vibrating with it so you will put yourself on your own ascension pathway and maybe you even have many maybe there are many ascension pathways for you to take maybe you have a like a buffet maybe there's a like a million different ladders and maybe they will all work for you maybe any of those paths are valid for you who knows right um, you, you, only you can know, only you can know <laughs> so the point is to just vibrate with your own authenticity and and vibrating with your own ascension ascension pathway right it's like literally vibrate with it first and then and then it's right above you and then it's immediately above you all you need to do is vibrate with it and you might think like how do how do i know how, how do i how do i vibrate with my ascension pathway right it's literally just ask yourself ask your soul ask your subconscious ask your higher self ask, you know, however that resonates with you, right? It, it's getting in tune with your own self. Literally nobody outside of you can tell you how to do that. It's a, it's a unique and personal journey for everyone. And th that's like the key, right? That's the key. Knowing that only you can identify your own ascension pathway, only you, because it is a unique and perfect individuated thing, authentic thing for everybody. There's, there's no getting it from anybody else. <laughs> And get some cards for some additional messages here. Full spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> this full spectrum is about all of your, your chakras lighting up. A full spectrum alignment. A, a full spectrum alignment. So part, that tells me that part of your getting aligned with your ascension pathway is like tuning, clearing, healing each and every one of your own chakras. And of course, you go through many cycles of this, right? It's like, how many times do you clear your do you clear your root chakra, right? How many times do you activate your third eye? How many times do you open up your crown? It's because it goes in circles and circles and cycles and spirals. And every time you do that, you get more tuned in with your own ascension pathway all the way through your whole being, all the way through your whole being. It's like the, the ascension ladder, if you will, it goes, it's not something you're climbing like outside of you. It's like a, a frequency that comes down through your core, the core of yourself. The pathway is inside of you and you ascend by being around it. Almost like imagine a string, imagine a beam of light that comes down through the center of your head, goes down through your third eye, through your throat, through your heart, through your, you know, all of your lower chakras and then down into the earth. It's inside of you. It is inside of you. And there's no ceiling that can stop that. No ceiling that can stop that. Because you're riding a beam of light and there's no, there's no ceiling. You, the only reason you feel like there is a ceiling is because there was in Earth's history, right? In your life even, unless you are very young watching this or you're watching this in the future, right? Um, but let me say, in, when I'm, as I'm recording this, in my lifetime, there was a ceiling, right? There was a ceiling. We experienced that. There was a ceiling. Um, but it's gone now. There is no more ceiling. We, we are now unlimited consciousness and we can ride that beam of light that's inside of us. We can ride it all the way, however, as high as we can imagine it, right? As ever as high as we can go, it is unlimited. Your consciousness is unlimited. By the time you see this video, you can tune into any level of abstraction, any. There is no limit. You are unlimited. That is the point. That is the purpose of human consciousness to be the, to, to, to be the singularity that synchronizes everything with unlimited consciousness and <laughs> look at this look at this card look at the, the pillar the pillar right that beam of light that's inside of you it is the pillar and this is also uh in this deck the pillar is empress energy right empress energy <sighs> the beam of light that is aligned with heaven with the cosmos with the higher realms and grounds it into the earth um reminding us that you are this pillar you are this beam of light but also that you are more effective, can only be effective as this pillar of light if you are grounded, right? And that's why there was a ceiling. Without the ceiling that we had experienced in the past, you never would have grounded. You would have just come down to earth and been like, 
fuck this and you would have fucked off, right? You had to, you, you put the ceiling here on purpose. All of us did. We all collectively put the ceiling there so that we would keep ourselves in the earth experience long enough to get grounded, right? And have all of the experiences that helped us ground. But the ceiling is gone because now we can ground out of choice. We don't need to trap ourselves here anymore. We, we got grounded enough and now we always remember to ground. We choose to ground. So just uh, uh, with that, there's there's really two things. It's like you are the pillar of light that is upholding. The, um, you, literally you, I'm talking to you. You are a pillar of light that is allowing space to be created. That is holding space, that is upholding the energetic vortex for everyone else to be in. Just, just think of a pillar holding up a ceiling, right? <laughs> We're talking about how there's no ceiling, but what do pillars do? They hold up ceilings. But in this case, uh, you're, it's not like you're, you're not holding up a ceiling. You're a pillar of, that goes all the way back to source, right? All the way back to the most primordial, most original source that you can tune into. You, you go all the way up, all the way up to most high whatever it is for you, you go all the way up. So you're the, it's like you're a pillar holding up a limitless ceiling, right? <clears throat> and healing. I feel like this message had to come through for people who were having a healing moment letting you know that the work has been done. The work has been done. You can take a break, you can take a breather, you can take a time out. You can allow yourself to go through the motions of healing in whatever way, shape or form that takes for you. The healing is being divinely guided. You don't need to worry about how it is manifesting in your physical reality right now. The healing time is here. The healing time is here. All right, that's it for this one. I love you guys. Bye.